When I was a youngster, born in the uh, Depression in 1934, we were thinking more about how to survive. Pop, who'd been a farmhand from 12 years old to 30, his mother died when he was 12, he was the oldest, so he had to go out and get a job and worked as a farmhand. And in 1934, at the peak of the Depression, he decided to start farming. Had enough money saved to buy a team of horses and rented a farm, and, and, and that was it. I was a pretty serious uh, youngster, uh, and what I discovered early was that work was a way of earning respect and recognition. I didn't spend a lot of time playing, didn't have a lot of play things to play with, and besides there was work to do, and, and, and that gives one us, um, I think, a sense of self-worth, of uh, self-esteem, if you will, so, so working for me was, was an important part of my evolution as a, as a person. In, in looking back, I feel as though I've, uh, I've taken advantage of the opportunities that have, have been there. I have a, an, an enormous debt to, to society because I've had an opportunity to get an education, even though neither of my parents graduated from elementary school. But in, in this society, no one asks what your parents did or who they are. It's, it's who you are that counts. One of the advantages of having been around for the better part of eight decades is that you, you see a lot of change. Um, and sometimes surprising change, sometimes change coming at a rate that, that you could not have imagined. We've seen social changes, racial equity, uh, gender equity, major social movements. My motivation comes from, I think, having some sense of the problems facing humanity and the need to do something about them while there is still time before things start to unravel in a way that we can't manage.